What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over YouTube analytics and how you can use your YouTube analytics data to actually improve your overall view results and get more out of your content. So here are the nine different things that I'm gonna be going through in this video, how you can use YouTube analytics to grow your channel. So the first thing I'm gonna be going over is advanced mode. So if you've never been to advanced mode through YouTube analytics, it has basically every single piece of information you could ever want about what's happening on your channel. So let's come back over to YouTube analytics. We're gonna click on the content tab and you can access this from any portion of your channel analytics, but right up at the top, you're gonna see advanced mode. So I'm gonna click on advanced mode now. So when you come to advanced mode, you're going to see something that looks like this. So it's gonna show all of your content. We're looking at the last 28 days and you can see all of my different videos, what's driving views, what's driving watch time, what's actually driving subscribers to my channel, the average view duration for a lot of these different videos. You'll see your estimated revenue for a lot of these different videos. I'm not gonna be showing my estimated revenue in this video. So if you're interested in estimated revenue, that's not something I'm gonna be going over. But coming into advanced mode, there's so many different things that you can look up. So you can see views, watch time, subscribers, average view duration. Clicking on any of these will just rank these videos by what is driving the most watch time, what's driving the most subscribers, or you could look at what's driving the least watch time. Maybe not the best thing to look at, but you can also look at secondary metrics. And if we come over here to more metrics, you're gonna see impressions, click-through rate, shown in feed, viewed versus swiped away, unique viewers. So basically any piece of information you're interested in, end screen element clicks, card clicks, card shown, YouTube premium views, fan funding, transactions, basically any possible thing you can see tied back to individual videos you can see through the advanced mode of channel analytics. So obviously there's different things that you can see directly from your analytics when you go to YouTube studio. Coming over here is one of the best ways to, to see basically what pieces of content are driving the best results for your channel and figure out ideas for, okay, let me keep making videos about similar topics because if people are interested in this video, here is another video that they're probably gonna be interested in as well. So as we scroll down here, you're gonna see all of my top videos by views, by watch time, all of this different information and what is really driving my channel. Now you can see my Google Ads course has been one of my most successful videos that is driving the majority of my views, my watch time, my impressions. So obviously I need to create more videos like this one. So let's come back over here. The next few things are gonna be pretty simple. So the first thing is gonna be the research tab. So with the research tab, you can find and save keyword ideas. It's basically a little built-in keyword research tool through YouTube analytics. So to get there, if we click on the X here, and what you're gonna see right here under analytics is going to be research. So we're gonna click on research and here's what you're gonna see. Explore what viewers are searching for on YouTube. Use this tool to research some of the top searches from viewers on your channel and across YouTube in the last 28 days. So first we'll start with my viewer searches. You could see obviously Google ads, one of the most popular keyword research, Google tag manager. Now just immediately seeing Google tag manager here, this tells me that people are looking for information related to Google tag manager who are currently watching my videos. So if I can create a video showing people the basics of Google tag manager, maybe a quick Google tag manager tutorial, a getting started guide, it will probably be helpful for a lot of the people that are visiting my channel. So I've already got an idea for a video. Google Trends, keyword research for SEO. So they're gonna give you three different pages of data and you're gonna see the most popular keywords for my channel. Now, a few different things. Some of these different search terms here, what you wanna do is look at where you're currently ranking for them and see if you can actually improve to drive more views by creating a more relevant and updated video. This is why I update a lot of my videos every single year, but you can see these are some of the most popular keywords that people are searching based that are actual my viewers. You can save any of these searches here. So if you know every single year you're targeting the Google Keyword Planner, come over here, click on more and click on save and it's going to add them to your saved searches. Now, if we go to searches across YouTube, one of the things you can do is let's just say, I wanna create content around Facebook ads. So if I search Facebook ads here, they're gonna give me, again, three different pages of keywords. And a lot of these are similar to the autocomplete keywords that you're gonna see. But what's useful is just seeing the overall search volume on YouTube from a high, medium, and low standpoint and getting some different ideas for types of videos that I can create that are going to be helpful for people who are interested in my channel. 
So if we come through here, you can see all of these different keywords and it's gonna help me come up with a few different ideas for video topics that I can create. So coming back over here, the research tab, one of the easiest ways to find keyword ideas for YouTube, very similar to just using YouTube autocomplete, but also seeing my viewers top searches and kind of seeing some of the different things that I can actually create new videos for is also very helpful. Now the overview tab, that's basically gonna be your main tab in your YouTube analytics. So if we come over here to overview, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. And what I like about overview is one of the things is why are views higher than usual? There's a few reasons for this increase, basically all based on SEO. So websites and apps outside of YouTube drove 34% more viewers. My main external source of YouTube traffic is the Google search engine. Viewers watch you 16% more often than usual from YouTube search results. So by targeting some different keywords and actually increasing my rankings for some different videos that I've created recently, that has helped me drive more clicks from different search results as far as YouTube and Google. As we keep scrolling down my top content in this period, as you can see, I've created a ton of different ChatGPT videos. The main reason for that is they've been very popular. So ChatGPT is obviously a trending tool. It's something people are searching a lot and people are looking for different prompts for ChatGPT. So I basically created videos around every single ChatGPT topic I can think of. They're driving a lot of views. They're driving some really good watch time as well. And then I have a couple courses in here, my free keyword research course that I updated from last year. I have my free Google Ads course. So I've updated this one. I'm probably gonna put out another one later this year. And then you can see I have a step-by-step -step blogger tutorial here that I created in 2019. So this is another video that I need to update because I know I can drive more views and increase this average view duration if I create an updated video about how to create blogger blogs from scratch. So coming back over here, the overview tab, pretty basic, but you can see what video topics are really driving views. You can see what is helping you drive more and more views. So obviously SEO is a huge part of my YouTube channel. The next thing is gonna be audience tab. And what I like about the audience tab is you can actually see the channels and videos that my audience are watching. So we'll come back over here and we're gonna click on the audience tab. Okay, so last 28 days, 26.3 thousand returning viewers, 128 thousand unique viewers, total subscribers, almost around 3,000. So I've been increasing my total subscriber growth. So that's why I like seeing audience tab as well, seeing how my uh, subscribers have grown. What I like is channels my audience watches. So looking at some of these different channels, what's really helpful is just kind of going through some of these channels and seeing some of the videos that they've created that are really popular and seeing if there are some different ideas that I can use for my own channel. The other thing here is content my audience watches. So you can see, again, there's three different pages of some of the most popular things that my audience has watched. A lot of these are all down to ChatGPT and then a few different ideas that I can definitely incorporate within my own content. When my viewers are on YouTube, so this can be helpful for when you wanna publish new content. For me personally, I publish basically whenever I'm done recording, editing, and ready to publish my video. So sometimes I'll publish when basically no one's on YouTube, because I figure by the next morning, my video will start being shown more and more to people as they come on YouTube. So I have no problem with publishing outside these hours. I have TubeBuddy installed, so it's showing me when I should actually publish. Top geographies, this could be helpful to see where people are actually located who are watching my videos, top subtitles and languages, and then watch time from subscribers, age and gender. So you can get a few different insights about your audience, but I really like using this, uh, this tab, the audience tab, to see what channels and what content are people watching that are interested in my channel, because there's probably ways that I can actually create similar videos that people will find useful as well. So again, coming back over here, that is the audience tab. Next is going to be the content tab, seeing how viewers find my videos. So let's come over to the content tab and you'll see my views are up, my impressions are up. This is one of the main things I optimize for is impressions, because if I can get my impressions up and get my impressions click through rate up, obviously that means more views. Higher average view duration means more watch time. Those are basically my main two goals with my YouTube channel. My biggest issue is I go periods of time without putting out consistent videos. So what you see over time is your views drop. Obviously you wanna be consistent if you wanna drive more and more people to your channel. What I like though about this is you can see top videos, you can see some information about key moments for audience retention. So what I like though at the bottom is how viewers find my videos. So 30% from YouTube search, 22.7% from external. If we click on external here, you can see the main 
driver of my external traffic is Google search, some from YouTube, and then there's some from my own website, Facebook, WhatsApp, so different ways people are able to find my videos. The other thing that's really helpful is if you click on YouTube search, they'll actually give you the keywords that are driving traffic for your channel. So the main thing is my brand, so people just actually searching Surfside PPC, and then the rest are different topics that I've created videos about, and I've started creating some videos like what is CPA, what is ROI, and I've done this basically because I'm trying to target some really popular keywords and see if it helps grow my overall views on my channel by creating just basic intro videos around high search volume topics. So coming back over here, how people have found my, my videos through the content tab, and then the next thing we're gonna do through the content tab is click on see more. So we can compare our keywords over time. Now, if I come over here, you're gonna see see more at the bottom here. This brings us into the advanced mode that I went over at the very beginning. So the advanced mode for deep dives into my channel. When you click on see more anywhere around YouTube analytics, it's gonna bring up that advanced mode. So let's click on see more now. Okay, so what we can look at is the last 28 days, if I scroll down, you can see the main keywords from YouTube search that are driving views and watch time on my channel. So it's really helpful to kind of see where I'm ranking high and maybe some areas where, for example, what is Google AdSense? I haven't created a Google AdSense video in several years, but I use Google AdSense basically as a method of income. So there's definitely some ideas I can create where here is how to increase your Google AdSense earnings. Here's some best practices, how to get started. So those can all be helpful videos. And just seeing what keywords are actually driving some results for my channel gives me some ideas for, okay, let me make sure that I'm creating more and better videos around some of these different keywords. Now, what I really like to do, so that is the see more, is to compare keywords over time. So you can come up to the top here and do compare to, do a year over year, a period over period. So let's just do period over period, and we're just looking at the last 28 days. So if we scroll down here, you can see my views for the last 28 days and then the previous 28 days before that. So we're just looking at my videos here, and you can see these are the different YouTube search keywords people used to find videos on my channel. So I've increased for certain keywords, and I've decreased for other keywords. You can see Surfside PPC went from 420 to 618, so that's obviously a good thing but there's gonna be areas where I dropped as well. But what I've found is the more videos that I put out, the more content that I'm making around popular keywords, it helps lift a lot of these different keywords here. So in the previous period, Google Ads, 301 views, Google Ads, 414 views. Google Trends, 316, Google Trends, 443. So the more I can grow from one period to the next, obviously the more views I can drive. You can see my views have dropped slightly from YouTube search, but it's been pretty similar overall. So what helps is if you're seeing views drop, you can say, okay, where was I ranking higher for certain keywords here and where am I ranking lower? Part of it is ROI marketing agency. I lost almost 200 views there. And then there's other ones where I'm just not ranking as high for ROI, pay-per-click, and some of these different keywords. Now there's different reasons for this because it may just be in one month people are searching certain keywords more and certain ones are searching others. But by looking at the comparison, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll compare years over year. I will compare long periods of times like 2020 versus 2022. 2020 versus 2021, find keywords that were driving a lot of views on my videos in the past and then realize that I need to update some of these different video tutorials that I've created, such as LinkedIn ads, Pinterest ads, Google Search Console, even my Google Ads tutorial. I need to update all of these different videos to drive more views on my channel. So that's how you can compare keywords over time. Now the last few things, top content by watch time, top content by subscribers. So what I like to do again is instead of comparing, so we'll get rid of the compare here, click on see more again. Okay, so if we come back into the advanced mode of analytics, what I like to do sometimes is just look at which actual videos are driving the most watch time for specific periods. And I will do this for a lifetime, I'll do it for a year period, Basically, as much information as I can get, I will try to incorporate into my own strategy for creating YouTube videos. So what you can see is over the last 28 days, certain videos have drove, driven a lot of views, a lot of watch time. But for example, if we come down here, I have a three and a half hour long keyword research course that I just recently published. I have a one hour long blogger tutorial. 
This one has driven 7,000 views. This one's driven 4,130 views. But if you look at the watch time difference, this one's basically three times as much as this one. If not, it's more than three times the watch time, even with less views. So what I'm trying to do a lot of times is figure out some of the different videos that I can create that are going to drive more impressions, longer average view durations, and really increase my overall watch time because I can have more ads show with videos that have more watch time. I'll also look at videos that are driving a lot of subscribers because that can be really helpful because subscribers can be viewers in the future. So coming over here, looking at my top content by watch time and by subscribers takes me away just from looking at, okay, this video is driving a ton of views, but however, those views aren't worth as much money as some of these other videos. You can also incorporate revenue into all of this. Obviously, I'm not showing my revenue for this specific video, but if you're trying to look at which videos are driving the most revenue, you can do the same thing with that as well. Now, the last thing I'm going to be going over for this video is analytics for individual videos, which is very helpful as I'm updating content. So if I come over here, one of the videos I created in 2020 that was really popular was my Google search console tutorial over 150,000 views, very successful video. So one of the things you can do is just click on analytics for this video. You can also do it in the back end of your YouTube studio. So if you come in to click on YouTube studio, go to analytics or go to your videos, you can actually see all the analytics for individual videos as well. But if we click on analytics here and we open this in a new tab, we can see a ton of information for this individual video. You can see my average view duration, average percentage viewed, up at the top, it shows total views, total watch time, total subscribers driven, and total revenue for this individual video. So it's all very helpful. The other thing that's useful is you can see where audience retention is positive in this video. So at six minutes and 10 seconds, 51% of people are still watching. So what that means is I can look back and see how I intro this video to make sure that I am when I create a new Google search console tutorial, I'm keeping people engaged longer because that's going to help me rank higher in the YouTube search engine. Now let's click on a few more tabs here. Let's go to reach in reach. We can see the total impressions. This video drove. We can see impressions, click through rate, total views, how viewers found this video impressions and how they lead to watch time. All of this is very, very helpful as we start to create more and more content around some of these same topics. Now, the other thing I like is YouTube search terms. So if I click on see more, it's going to open up advanced YouTube analytics and show every single search term that has driven traffic to this video. Obviously, Google Search Console and Google Search Console tutorial are the two main keywords. But by seeing how to use Google Search Console, it gives me ideas for some different things that I can use in my video title and use in my video description. And I could even potentially do a how to use Google Search Console, a 10 minute for beginners and create shorter videos, longer videos, try to find different ways to actually appeal to everybody who's interested in learning more about Google Search Console. The other thing that's really helpful here is content suggesting this video. So this tutorial intro to Google Search Console, seven ways to verify site ownership. These are all different videos that I can create myself. So if these videos are suggesting this video already, why not create videos around the same exact topic and get those views myself, increase my revenue, and ultimately what we're trying to do with YouTube analytics is find ways to improve our channel, grow our viewership, and grow our watch time. So hopefully this is helpful. If you have a YouTube channel and you're trying to figure out different ways to grow by finding popular keywords, by finding analytics for individual videos, what made them successful, which videos are driving watch time, what's driving subscribers. I use my YouTube analytics to basically increase my channel pretty quickly over the last month by creating a ton of videos about ChatGPT and putting them all together in a long ChatGPT marketing tutorial with a bunch of free prompts. Basically, I try to create helpful videos around ChatGPT because it's a very popular topic right now and I can create the videos pretty quickly, go over some different prompts that people can use and I'm starting to reap the benefits of the views and the watch time from those videos. So if you have any questions about YouTube analytics and how to use them to grow your channel, please leave in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.